in the community. Hi, this is Ayana Gregory, and you are watching In the Community. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another show of In the Community TV. You know how we do this state to state, city to city, community to community. Right now, back in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're building bridges. That's right, we're building bridges, every denomination. There's something going on for us to be part of. Right now, we're in Louisville, and we're talking to brother Rick Howe. Listen, great job y'all are doing. Education, try to bring back vouchers and whatnot. A lot of people is fighting that situation. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people don't quite understand it. Real, if you could, can you kind of like educate our viewers what vouchers are and, and what the purpose of, of, of this uh, move for vouchers? Okay, vouchers and uh, the concept of charter schools is two different things. But they're both ideas that grow out of the mind of a guy named Milton. He passed away quite a while ago. He was an economist. And he was trying to figure out how to help, and even in those days in the 70s, education had begun to slide from the 60s. Right. Up until the uh, early 60s, education in America was on a pretty high plane. And then beginning uh, in 62, about the time the prayer was taken out. I think it means Contrary. something a lot of people don't don't think it means anything, but uh, education began to slowly deteriorate. And uh, he was concerned about it even in the 70s. And he came, was thinking about it, brainstorming as an economist, came to the conclusion that if you could enter um, uh, competition into the mix where the education that was offered in any given community would have to compete with other sources of education for children, then that would be just like any other business. Uh, photographer, filmmaker, you know, you actually compete against others who do what you do. Right. And if they do a better job than you, they make a better living. Right. Right. You know, right. uh, if you fix cars and you can never and you never get a motor running, you know, you ain't gonna have too many customers. Right. Well, you know, the idea was that public education and all kinds of education would, would prosper the more options that parents have to educate their children. And this was an idea that he came up with where uh, low income and low uh, low middle class people would have an option to use some of the monies that they pay in property taxes rather than that money go off and educate, educate their children in a way that's not successful. And uh, uh, if, you, if they put their children in private school already, well they virtually are just making a gift of the property taxes to the rest of the children of the community. Okay. And, they, and they have to come out of the pocket for their education of their own children. He came up with this idea that you would create a system for vouchers where uh, parents could apply. The, they would never touch the money, but the money would go straight to whatever institution where they were taking their child to educate. Okay. And uh, so it wouldn't be like the parents give them money to run around with and go, go to Vegas. Okay. And uh, but the, the, that money would be kept track of, and uh, the, the school board and so forth would, would know where the children are. The state school board would know where the children are, and the children would continue to be educated. Hi, this is Ayana Gregory, and you are watching in the community.